camp started for the Browns and pretty much most of the teams around the league. Uh, we had our first look at the team. It was just shorts and T-shirts. Pretty slow today from the videos I saw. A lot of like walkthroughs, that kind of thing. Um, Deshaun took all the first team reps because Sue Robinson – Still just like sitting around doing nothing. I wonder if she forgot <laughs> she's supposed to to come up with a decision. Um, we did see some plays with Chubb and Hunt on the field together. The one play I saw, Hunt was in the slot, motion in the backfield, and then, so it was Chubb, Deshaun, Hunt. Then it was almost like a counter where Hunt came across like a fullback, blocked. Chubb got the ball. That, I mean, that could be deadly. I, I'm not a huge fan. I didn't like the way Freddie would put them in the backfield together. It felt very gimmicky, you know, to put – Kareem Hunt in a, what were they, like a wishbone? Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> you with, with I mean? Freddie, you know, on the sideline, he was like, hey, we should put Kareem Hunt out there, too. <laughs> yeah. we'll go, we'll get out there. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> it felt very gimmicky when Freddie did it. I think something like that, it can be, I don't want to see it every play because I really like having one of those dudes with fresh legs at the end of the game, and you, we're sending a top 10 back at him with fresh legs. But to do that a few plays a game, sprinkle it in here, there could be, very good for the Browns, especially with the threat of Deshaun running. But, you know, with Dearness Johnson and, I mean, That's right, yeah. Jerome Ford, too. I mean, we you, people still kind of forget that we have him out of the draft this year. I We've totally got some good him. running backs behind those two that, I mean, if they are not completely fresh at the end of the game, there are good legs to be uh, brought in. The depth is ridiculous. It's awesome. In the running book room. It's, yeah. it's insane. Yeah. We... It, it would be nice if we could have that in the tight end room or the wide receiver room. <laughs> um, yeah, the tight end thing is still a little like when like you bring somebody in. Yeah, no kidding. Kyle Rudolph went to the Bucks. That yeah, leaves, it leaves Ebron. Go get him before somebody else does. Yeah, um, because we're we're so thin at tight end. And I can't believe we haven't done it already. I was gonna say there's no saying we haven't tried. Maybe people we've reached out to have said, "Yeah, I want to wait." Maybe they want to wait and see what happens with Deshaun. Maybe they're like, "Well." Not going to come there this year if Deshaun's not the guy. Yep. I, mean, I guess too, like sure. some some older players, like a guy like Ebron. He's like, I don't want to be there for camp. <laughs> like, yeah, we've <laughs> we've we've heard that. We've read that in, in multiple reports before about other players that like kind of just take their camp. time. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. But it would have been nice to get somebody in for camp so they could learn the offense. Um, I guess the biggest news for camp today was we had a multiple amount, or not a multiple amount. That's a stupid way to say it. We had a bunch of guys. <laughs> um, Start the, the uh, camp on the pup list. It says the physically unable to perform list. Nothing major as far as I know, mostly precautionary. Do you have that list? I do, yeah. So they added um, Conklin and Denzel Ward. Uh, Denzel Ward for the foot. Um, and then uh, Jack Conklin was knee. Uh, they added them yesterday. Um, David Bell went on it, what, a week ago? I think that's like the that. biggest one. If he was able to play, he'd be playing because he's got to learn the offense. Yep, so they're on the uh, the pup list, and then they have uh, Sheldon Day with a back injury and linebacker Anthony Walker, a groin injury. That's basically on the active non-football injury list. And then Javon Wims was placed on the active non-football illness list. So those are the guys right now. Do you want to go ahead and explain kind of – for people who don't know what the pup list is. Yeah, we were kind of talking about it before the show and just some of these, you know, the information I pulled up here says the pup list is uh, designed for players who enter camp unable to play as a result of an injury suffered participating in job related activities. So like working out on their own or doing something else like riding and ATV do not qualify is what they're saying. So it has to be like team related activities. So it's almost they, like if you're at work, you can't get workers comp unless you got hurt at work. Correct. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it is. So. Um, they said just because a player is on the pup list, it's not a reason to panic. Um, they can still, we talked about this, they can still work out, attend team meetings, conditioning, all that kind of stuff while they're at camp. They just can't actually get on the field and practice. <clears throat> so just because these guys are on the pup doesn't mean they're sitting on the sideline with their leg in a cast. Like yeah. they're still working out. They're still in the team right. meetings. They're just not actually on the field right now. Well, not- and I think like what the good thing is we talked about is if they go on the pup before the start of camp, they come off as soon as they're cleared. Correct. And yeah. if we if they waited until camp started, then they don't get to go on the pup. They have to go on what the injured reserve, and then that's I it. Think and then so. that's a designated amount of time. So it's good to just get them on before. That way, as they're ready, they can come off that list and uh, and start practicing. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Once a player has participated in even a single second of a training camp practice, they're no longer eligible to go on a pup list. Okay. So that's why these teams are putting players on the pup list before they get them on the field to make sure they're healthy. Yep. yep. So if they go on the field, 
they cannot then be put on the pop list. I mean, I guess the good thing is like we uh, don't have any players this year uh, that got on motorcycles and crashed them, you know, uh, <laughs> heading into uh, training camp. So, hey, a positive, a positive. Uh, we're we're moving forward from the past. Well, that's good. Yeah, it's a new day here in Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, so that's that's kind of the only – we don't have a ton of training camp news today because we're recording on the first day of camp. We're going to be up there Saturday, so if you guys see the dogs, make sure you say hello. We like meeting the people. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Stay tuned to TikTok. We'll try to be – I know last year I was trying to post a TikTok while we were at camp. It was a little sketchy just because of the cell service up there wasn't too quick. Oh, boy. But we got a couple. Okay. Got a couple yeah. videos up last year. What's going on, Browns fans? The action never ends at DraftKings Sportsbook, especially this summer. With tons of ways to bet on all your favorite sports, you can fuel your fandom and feel the heat of the season like never before. Plus, right now, DraftKings Sportbook is giving new customers a risk-free bet up to $1,000. It's a lot of dough. That's right. Make your first bet up to $1,000, and if it doesn't win, you'll get another shot to cash in. You can throw down on all the uh, major action on baseball, golf, MMA, and more. Plus, with same-game parlays, spreads, money lines, over-unders, and props, your betting options never feel endless. Best of all, DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. You can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code TPPN. Make your first deposit and get a risk-free bet up to $1,000. That's promo code TPPN only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Look forward to betting with you soon and minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. God bless. 